All over the place, there's more and more people coming to know him. What's it going to take to reach the millions of Hindus? We must reach when you them. hear God's heart, you say we yes. Have to How are we supposed to reach the all, unless we learn to communicate? I know I communicated the gospel. At least I'm pretty sure I did. Mas como eu vou pregar o evangelho se eu não falo o idioma? Even with the same language, there are still cultural barriers. Is there some way we can make our short-term outreaches better? Even if we've been effective in the past, is there more that we could be doing? Allah edana risala di. But you na me make him long this pela talk, long how get a man on this pela ground mass arib na believe. Sometimes we need to reevaluate our methods. 우리는 다양한 방법으로 복음을 전합니다. 이것이 우리 미션에 어떻게 영향을 끼칠까요? 에나 لازم نوصل للناس في مجتمعاتهم ونتواصل معهم بالشكل اللي هم بيتواصلوا بيه مع بعضهم من بعض. Having the right equipment or the tools necessary to take the gospel is very important. The people are open to hear and listen to something that belongs to them, their own language, their own tradition, their own custom. They are very receptive to hearing and receiving from this kind of tools. Now I believe that God is raising up a new army of soldiers that are going to go and preach His gospel through using the media, through using movies and stories that are compelling, that introduce people to relationship with Jesus. Countries like Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, Sudan, they're all into iPods. They're into the internet. They're into multimedia stuff. I can't stress how important it is for you to take advantage of this technology, find out what you can use to make your job easier in preaching the gospel to people that have never heard through the language that they already know, the language of media. Are we missing something? What possibilities have we missed out on for our short-term missions trips? Hemos aprovechado al máximo lo que Dios nos ha dado. I see hundreds of young people coming in and out of the nation every year. One of our girls recently came back with this story. She was in Jakarta working in a slum with her team and met this man several different times. As she was there, she was trying to communicate with him and help him to understand the gospel, but he didn't understand because there was no translator. She then pulled out her iPod and was able to show him a video in Bahasa, his native language, which he understood and was able to understand who God was and accepted Christ into his life. All right, so you're wondering, how do I apply all of this to a cross-cultural outreach? Let's say you're preparing for a trip to a tough country. Translators will be scarce and the culture pretty hard to engage with. So first, you assign two team members to research methods for evangelism to that particular people group. So these guys search the net and they find an evangelistic film. They also find an audio Bible and a cell phone movie. All of these are in the heart language of the people. The teams put these resources onto their laptops, MP3 players, and cell phones. You're probably going to take all this stuff with you anyway. Why not use it? So you get to where you're going and you start doing evangelism. You've got your cell phone with you and you show some short clips to make some friends. Over the next week you build on those relationships and you share the love of God with them. So when you feel they're ready, you show them an evangelistic film on a laptop. Before you part ways, you give them an mp3 audio bible in their language. And you give them an address to an evangelistic website. So it's basically outreach as usual. You're just adding some digital tracts. These will help make your message clear and contextual. These kinds of audiovisual tools can be used in any number of ways. If you can manage a simple digital projector and a laptop, you can put on a movie screening of an evangelistic film. Try passing around flyers and invite people from the streets. You're bound to wind up in an outreach situation where there's no translator, but you're with somebody that's pretty open. So what are you going to do? Well, you can take out your MP3 player and show them the evangelistic film you found. It's in their language. If your time is too limited, you could give them a DVD and a web address for follow-up. Oftentimes, I think on short-term outreach teams, we sell short the team by not giving them enough equipping so that they can actually be effective, and that's the issue. Working in India, I have seen the struggles and difficulties that a team can have. 
and sharing the gospel. Eu vi que não bastava simplesmente você ter o desejo de levar a palavra de Deus, mas você também precisava ter estratégias. E eu me senti frustrada porque eu não sabia falar o inglês e tão pouco o hindi. Como nós não podíamos usar as nossas estratégias, que seria dança e drama, nós buscamos outras estratégias. Então nos deram a ideia de usar MP4 com filmes em hindi. Através do MP4, nós conseguimos levar a palavra do Senhor. Tiveram um bom resultado, porque as pessoas que assistiram o filme entenderam a mensagem e aceitaram a Cristo como salvador. E a equipe ficou muito surpreendida mesmo, entusiasmada pelo aquilo que Deus fez. They never seen this type of video in their lives, and it's a life-challenging and a life-changing video, which has transformed many lives in all over the world. People are coming, and people are needy, and people are hungry for this such type of videos. So I want to tell you that people who never know about Jesus, you have the opportunity to serve and reach them in an easy way through this media. One of the things that I've found is that when teams equip themselves with audio-visual tools, they put themselves in a position where they can maximize their effectiveness in the places that God is calling them to. It's so simple, it's so practical, but yet it's so effective. There is a great seven minute animated clip that Create International made that is in the Mandarin language. With over 1.6 billion Mandarin speakers, this is a wonderful tool to use for sharing the gospel and for evangelizing the Chinese peoples and Mandarin speakers. It can be put on cell phones, it can be put on MP4 players, it can be Bluetooth from one cell phone to another phone. It is a great tool for sharing the gospel. At Indigitube.tv, you can find the audiovisual resources you need to share the gospel across cultures. Search by people group or country to find relevant resources to reach people in your area of ministry. Download videos right onto your laptop or phone. Use indigitube.tv to help increase your effectiveness in ministry. Using film and media, we've seen people come to Christ. When you see somebody in another language, get it and understand it because it's done by their people in their language toward them, then it makes your job relatively easy. I want to encourage you to take advantage of the, the many resources that are out there. Be prepared, equip your teams as they head out onto the mission field. Media is a global form of communication that God wants to use to see the gospel go to every nation on the planet. It's fajal on such gala ancient, I guess it's fajal deni hua hishkin. But you may look at this pillar talk belong God, we go long all get a hub long this pillar ground. Our heart is to reach the lost. For all people.